Hurricane Irma bore down on southern Florida on Sunday with 130 mile per hour winds, flooding Miami streets and knocking out power to more than 1.6 million homes and businesses. Even before it came ashore, Florida was feeling Irma's fury with at least one man killed, a woman forced to deliver her own baby, and trees and apartment towers swaying in high winds. The storm was one of the most powerful ever seen in the Atlantic, and has already killed two dozen people in the Caribbean and pummeled Cuba with 36-foot waves on Sunday. Officials warned that Irma's heavy storm surge, seawater driven on land by high winds, could bring floods of up to 15 feet along the state's western Gulf Coast. It submerged the highway that connects the isolated Florida Keys archipelago with the mainland, and a small white-capped waves could be seen in flooded streets between Miami office towers. <laughs> 